Hello, I, um, I just woke up and actually I didn't just wake up, but I have not touched my hair. I went and worked out, I came home and um, got dressed. Here I am. So this is what my hair look, looked like when I got out of bed. I still haven't done anything to it because, I mean, there's no need to fix it to work out. So what I do with my hair is I did shampoo this yesterday and styled it yesterday. So this is day two. And it doesn't have a lot of product on it, so I'm gonna use my Aerogel. Yesterday, this squirted in my eyeball. No, it didn't even squirt in my eyeball. It squirted all over my face. It's terrible. I didn't have any makeup on, it is a psh. You know how hairspray sometimes doesn't spray right. Yes, that feels better. I want to feel a little crunch. Just a little, just a little. It's not 80s crunchy. I want to feel the product. I do, I do, I want to feel the product. Curly hair is not hair you can run your fingers through. I'll never forget one time I was working at, we used to have a theme park in Nashville called Opryland. And uh, this old man, Tried to run his fingers through my hair. Yeah, that was, he went, er, er. <laughs> you can't run, number one, you can't, and don't. <laughs> Not running your fingers through the hair. This is cute and all right here, but see how picky I'm being and how you probably thought, what is she being picky about? It looks fine. That's how we are. So just remember that when you're like being super picky. Nobody notices the things we're so picky about. As long as your general shape is good, you don't have any big hunks of frizziness, you're probably just fine. I wouldn't mind that being a little poofier. It looks like there's a frizzy spot right there. Like if I had water in here, I would just take that whole spot and wet it. I don't, so I'm just gonna ignore it. And maybe in the bathroom later, I'll do something with it. Let me look at the back because I haven't looked at the back yet. Oh, that looks fantastic. See how you can almost, <laughs> you can almost see a hole there, but you don't. Okay, well, ah, yay, yay for great hair. <sighs> okay, let me put my earrings on. I got new eyeshadow, so I'm super excited to play with that and stick my fingers in it. I'm also unlimited time, so. I probably don't need to play with that today. So I won't, let's do something else. Okay. And you know, I saw somebody else's video and I'm so sorry, I don't know who it was, but she had almost a million views. So she's doing good. Here's my bugger. Hello, bugger. He goes like this to my leg, don't you? Hello, little sugar bugger. I gave him a bath in the kitchen sink. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. Was it amazing? He, he did not think that was amazing. <laughs> He thought that was the worst idea ever. Back to the eyeshadow. Um, you don't have to buy new palettes. Use what you have. Use what you love. You probably have stuff because, you know, we just do. This is my primer because I have combination skin and I have large pores. This is the first primer I've ever seen that actually helped the makeup to look good on my pores. So, two thumbs up. I have links, affiliate links down below. If you don't want to use the affiliate link, you can just, it, it's listed, so you could just Google it. Um, <clears throat> one day, I'll make money on affiliate links. <laughs> I think I made $6 one month, $6. It's all good. Since I don't have a lot of time today, I'm just gonna use my glow minerals, which the best thing about this, besides the fact that it's so easy, is it also has, because it's a mineral makeup, it has sunscreen in it. And I used to do under eye concealer, but I've seen other people and they're like, stop doing that. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm easily swayed. I hate how that's going in my face. Stop that, stop going in my face. Stop it. 
stay there. It is not. It is so not going to stay there. So I'm filming this and it is the Monday before Thanksgiving. I don't normally work on Mondays, but I do today. And um, so I'm going to work today and tomorrow in the salon and then I'll be off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Wednesday for cooking, um, Thursday of course for Thanksgiving, and then Friday to decorate for Christmas. However, I've got my friend from the wreath stand in Nashville and she's actually going to decorate my tree. I've never had anybody do that officially. I used to barter with a florist. So I used to buy trees from her and I would buy the tree. I didn't buy, we bartered. And uh, I got the tree and then I'd get all the ornaments. Everything was so beautiful. But that was a big old tree and I really didn't have room for it. And at the time it didn't match my house at all. Like actually now, I feel like it would work better. It was uh, like a plummy purple and silver on a flocked tree. Oh, so pretty. 20 years ago, work with me, you know. Now my tree is a little more um, turquoisey and pink, kind of, and then kind of like bubblegum colors. Which for some reason made me think that my birthday is in a couple of weeks, so then there's that. And I need to hang a banner up <laughs> at work. It says happy birthday to me. <laughs> I don't think I have that. I need to work on that. We have the banner, but I need to, um, silly thing came from Amazon and it's just the letters, the H-A-P-P-Y. So I've got to tie like twine or something between all of that. You know what I normally do that I did not do is I make sure my skin is clean. Well, it looks good. <laughs> and I haven't put on my uh, eye primer, which I always have to do because I have very oily eyelids. And without eye primer, my eyeshadow isn't gonna stay. So, I keep a bunch of my makeup in this little tray. I have like little organizer trays in these drawers. They're so handy. We just, we redid the salon. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, it is, oh, that's not going to fit. Are you serious? Are you serious? I literally bought this from Sephora. Dang it. So that I could sharpen this big pencil. <laughs> Just keep wanting to go. It's not, it's not going to go. It's a Sephora pencil. It's a Sephora sharpener. Huh? Huh? Sephora. For real? I don't even know what to think about that. Oh, you want to see? You want to see this? This is Pretty Grunge by Huda. And I did buy it from Sephora right before all the Black Friday sales, whatever. Um, and this is mostly a cool toned palette and um, which I love cool toned. I can't wait to play with it. But not today. Okay. That's crazy that pencil sharpener didn't work and very sad. Think about what am I gonna do today? I think I'm gonna do. Ooh. Let's play with this. Okay, this is the uh, Elemental palette by Glow Minerals. So, oh, right. Bunch of neutrals. Because that's what I'm gonna do today. This is Nutrition Nova, if you live in the area. They're amazing. She's about to change the menu, but that was Bat Witch Crazy. And it's got 
like 105 calories. Let's get over. 105 calories. <clears throat> oh, I can't remember how much protein it has in it. It has protein. It has biotin, collagen, bee pollen. I used to know it has whey protein. And it's actually for people in your 50s and up, it's a herbal life product. What? It is. Don't call it comeback. Yeah, herbal life now. They, they do these nutrition teas and, and businesses have set up and they sell them. They're amazing. They're good for you. And I've quit drinking Starbucks, but I love to have a little special beverage. So anyway. We actually purchase these. She'll sell them to us with the cups, the lids, the straws, everything. And then the dry powder to make the drink. And then she taught us how to make it. So that's what we do. They're doing like road construction outside of my house. So my son's dog was like, let me go outside. And then he just sat there and looked at it. I'm like, all right, apparently you want to stay outside today. So, okay. I'm super excited about this shirt I have on. Number one, I think it's cute. Number two, I first found it on Amazon for $80. <gasps> but I bought it because, um, well, I've lost 60 pounds. And then finding clothes that I want to wear because my body shape has changed. Thank you, Pure Bar. So... I bought the shirt and just thought, well, you know, I'll just try it on. If I don't like it, I'll send it back. So I have another one that's like in a dark gray kind of color. It's really pretty. Um, and I loved it. And I was like, oh, dang it. And I've been very sad. I don't pay $80 for a shirt. Well, I need more shirts. So I used to wear long shirts that would cover up my stomach, but I don't have to do that anymore. Look, have y'all ever seen this? This is an elastic belt and it keeps your pants up. Yeah. Okay, anyway, there's a link below to that. So I can wear shorter shirts. Let's say, dun, 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 dun. and I like it. I think it looks great. But now, the challenge is finding the crazy shirts. And you know how it is. Everybody has different sizing and so then, like, I know my measurements. I think I'm, I say I know it, and then I'm like, I don't know. I think I'm 46 across the bust. So then when I see something that says it's a 1X and it's a 48 across the bust, I'm like, I, I'd wear a 2X. I'm like, can I wear that? <laughs> Probably not. I think I ordered a sweatshirt yesterday. I ordered two Christmas sweatshirts. We'll see how that goes. Um, online, they're very pretty. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll just see. Let's see. What colors do I want to wear? I don't know. What color is that? Kind of a gray. I can't see it. You barely see that on my hand. And then this brown. Looks like these are buildable, though. Yeah, okay, maybe start out with the gray. Does the gray have a little bit of shimmer? I'm using, I'm using this big fluffy blender brush from Glow Minerals. I've had it forever and ever. I was watching that video by the person that had almost a million views, and I don't know who she was. But if I figure it out, I'll put it on here. She actually was doing really complicated eyeshadow, and I just want to do easy eyeshadow. Ain't nobody got time for that. But, um, <laughs> what was my point? She, she did say, get your makeup from wherever you want to get your makeup from. I was like, that's so cool. But she also said, um, if you have a hooded eye, which I totally do, that you need to use smaller brushes. Don't use these big brushes. But I find when I use a smaller brush, I mean, I'm not even going to do it to show you how bad it would look. I just go, 
with the color. <laughs> then I can't blend it. Mama Sita needs to be able to blend it. Yes, for real. So right now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just looking to see like where is, I want color to be right here. So I'm just looking and then placing and blending a little bit. And that did really good. That is a pretty color. I didn't really expect it to, I didn't expect to like it right out the gate. You never know. Put a little bit more in here. So what are y'all doing for Thanksgiving? Or if you're not in this country, do you have Thanksgiving at a different time? Because some countries do. Excuse me, a friend of mine's daughter is um, studying in Ireland and they don't have Thanksgiving, so her daughter's just going to ignore it. I'm like, really? I guess. Would you ignore Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it depends on how important it is to you. Maybe if you had American friends while you're in Ireland studying. Okay, well, see, now I think this looks bad. See, I told you, I'm not really good at these little brushes. This is a medium blender from Sydney Grace. <sighs> okay. So now I come back with this, and this is where I want my eyeshadow to look airbrushed. I'll just come back and I'm just right over where I had that color. I am just blend, blend, blendity blend. Sometimes you can take your finger to do this and, and that's why I say sometimes. Sometimes it works and sometimes you're like, oh, that, that didn't work out. Now, I just put this brush, this medium blender in a dark color. So I'm going to wipe it off and go under my eye. So I'm just using, out of the Elemental palette, I'm using these two colors. So I'm using this one and I'm using that one. And that's what I'm using mostly. I'm digging it. I posted a video of a makeover I did and I have a, I have a couple more to make, produce, edit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? And I feel like the first one I made, um, it's with Karen. She's going to the CMAs. It's too short. But that's okay. We're working on it. I think I need one of these phone holders that I'm using right here. I think I need that in the salon. Maybe my tabletop ring light. Talking to yourself, you can really figure some stuff out. I know I'm not talking to myself, but I'm monologuing. So, because, yeah, really monologuing, monologuing. Um, you know, I've mentioned that my family, we use the Marco Polo app. It's a lot of monologuing going on in the Marco Polo app. Now, I can use this little medium blender. I'm going to take this in my lighter eyeshadow, and I'm just going to... Because I have a hooded eye, I need to brighten up my eyelid. Otherwise, it'll just look like a sunken, deep, dark pit. And I'm not going for that. You don't really have to go all the way across. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, let's, let's go blend some more. Let's put in a little shadow. La, la, la. Okay. You know, eyeshadow is an art for sure, but it's also personalized to you. And figure out what you like, what you're going for, and take pictures of yourself, and then look at your makeup and see what you think. When I first started doing the close-up pictures of my eyeball, that's when I saw like mistakes I was making that were easy fixes, and I was blown away by how easy it was to fix these little things. And then once you learn that and, you know, figure it out, it's just not a big thing. 
It's pretty awesome. I feel like I was going to say something else a second ago, but I was really trying to keep with my train of thought because I know I lose it. So we've also just done the makeover on the salon. I think I mentioned that. And today we are going to put footrest on the hair chairs. Um, the chair was pictured with a footrest, but did not come with one. With a low, low price of $180, we were able to purchase two more footrests, which is ridiculous. And I did send them an email and I said, I think this is a little underhanded. It was pictured with the footrest. It never said it wasn't coming with a footrest. I mean, it didn't say it was, but it's pictured with. I mean, it's like, you know, remember 20 years ago when you'd go to buy a car and like they didn't come with floor mats. And I mean, you know, it got to the point, I'm like, does it come with the tires? <laughs> does it come with the steering wheel? I'm not even kidding. That's the way I felt about it. Where is my eyelash curler? Oh. Okay, let's see if I have any fallout. Uh oh. I don't. I think that looks good. I like it. Pretty quick. We're 21 minutes in. What time is it? I was wanting to leave right now. Not leaving right now. Hair looks great. Even that part that I thought was fuzzy. See, now I'm good with it. Good with it. Curl those lashes, curl them some more. You know, I was giving my lashes a haircut. Some of the things I do, don't do that. Don't give your lashes a haircut. I just felt like they were too long. I was, I'm using Babe Lash and I just, I was not, I am not used to having these long lashes, so. And if you need to see better, just pinch your screen and zoom in. So anyway, I quit trimming the lashes and now I'm getting a lot of compliments on my lashes. It's very fun. Yesterday, I had the heat on, then I had the windows open, then I had the air conditioning on. It's that time of year in the South where we get to run all the things. And I started out with, um, my stomach was upset yesterday, so I didn't go to church. So I started out with my warmest pajamas and warm fuzzy socks. And then I ended up in uh, a t-shirt and shorts. It's <laughs> like, this is crazy. But it is what it is. I'm going to make for Thanksgiving um, squash casserole. Macaroni and cheese and pecan pie. See, is this necklace? I feel like this necklace is too long. I love it. It's cute. But it's long. I mean, I might swap it out. When I first started really curling my lashes, um, it took like 10 minutes to do my lashes. So somehow it's quicker, but probably just with practice. So all that to say is you will get quicker. I can hear my husband cooking in the kitchen and he's supposed to leave with me at 8.45. And it is 8.47. <laughs> He's still in there just to cook it. I cooked before I went to Pure Bar. So, um, movement is so good for your body. And you need to be moving no matter what it is. 
And while I don't think that Pure Bar is for everybody, I do think that you should go give it a try. Your first class is free. Wherever you live in the U.S., they probably have Pure Bar. I don't know if it's in other countries. Um, but I'll put a link to a video, like the intro to Pure Bar, so you can see what to expect. I'll put that down below. And make sure you ring your notifications bell, because I try to post twice a week. And I try to post on Mondays and Thursdays, but sometimes I post it like on Sundays and Wednesdays. Yeah, I think I just did a video on Sunday, right? Sometimes I do Sundays and Wednesdays because sometimes it'll take 24 to 36 hours for the video to upload. I'm like, what is happening? What is happening? What's happening here? So have you decorated for Christmas yet? Is your tree up? Mine is not. But I'm gonna start putting stuff out on Friday. And then my friend Rachel's gonna put my tree up, or she's gonna decorate the tree later. But she'll, she, since she owns the wreath stand at 100 Oaks, she'll bring extra things that I need for my tree to make it special. It's not bad, but it'll be better. I'll show you when she gets done. All right, we'll be done. I think I'm ready for work. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.